Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 9. Today, verses 18 to 21, we are at the point of the seventh plague, the plague of hail. Pharaoh has been given warning, and uh, we're going to finish out that with these three or four verses here, and then we're going to see what happens. Well, let's jump right in here at 18. Behold, about this time tomorrow I will send a very heavy hail, such as has not been seen in Egypt from the day it was founded until now. Now, therefore, send, bring your livestock and whatever you have in the field to safety. Every man and beast that is found in the field that and is not brought home, when the hail comes down on them, will die. The one among the servants of Pharaoh who feared the word of the Lord made his servants and his livestock flee into the houses, but he who paid no regard to the word of the Lord left his servants and his livestock in the field. So God has Moses foretell this, this uh, seventh plague yesterday and today. Uh, now there's a time element here. There's a warning. Hey, bring your anybody that's valuable, any valuable livestock, even valuable servants. Bring, if you believe this, bring them in out of the field. And God is kind of giving a fair warning. It's kind of like a tornado warning going off. And God is giving the Pharaoh the tornado warning through Moses. Uh, get your stuff secured because this this is going to be, you've, you've never seen anything like this. This is going to threaten life. This is going to kill. Uh, take Put your stuff in order. Uh, and he's given them every opportunity to, to bring them back in, bring them in. Now notice here that even some of the Egyptians are actually abandoning their, uh, uh, oh, the Hebrew God is a wimp. They're abandoning that business. And so some of the Egyptians are indeed going to bring some of their animals in out of the field and even into their own homes just to preserve their life uh, because, uh, you know, not really up on having our total wealth destroyed. So, so yeah, this is an interesting spot in the, in the 10 plagues. They want to preserve their animals from the power of this plague. Now, did you notice what else it said? So we see it in verse 20 and 21. It's not that these people start fearing the Lord. To say that they feared the Lord would be indicating they've changed religions. <laughs> They've abandoned all the Egyptian pantheism and, and adopted the religion of Yahweh. Well, that, that's, that's not what's happening here. What's happening is it's not that they fear the Lord. They fear the word of the Lord. There's an important line here. They are concerned because they recognize now that this God has power. These people are, are still full of polytheism, you know, pantheism and large numbers of, of fake gods. That's kind of what's in their mind that they've had it from, from the first inkling of intelligence. They've... This is what they've been raised on. It's, it's, so that it's hard for them to really grasp the idea of one God. But they have grasped the idea that this is a powerful God. And so they fear the word, the ones that fear, I should say, the word of this God. They are going to do what they can to preserve. But others are going to be uh, scoffing and aloof, and uh, this couldn't happen. And they're going to leave everything dangling in the field, and out down's going to come the hill. But that's tomorrow morning. But uh, yeah, God has given pretty fair warning here. And he's not, it's not like this is something that has, uh, do you remember back to the, the water turned into blood and the frogs? And, and there's sort of like a lot of evidence piled up here. And it's, uh, it's when there's people who disregard Bible prophecy, this is a prophecy. Moses is giving a prophecy. It's one day before it happens. But it's truly a prophecy. And when, when somebody has been proven to be correct again and again and again, this is plague number what? Plague number seven or so? So there have been six other plagues, and each time this is what would said would happen, and then this is what happened. This is what would said would happen, and now this is what happened. So there's there's now there's kind of like a track record here, and each time the, the God of the Hebrews has come through, big time. And now you're going to risk everything by leaving your stuff out in the field? But anyway, I guess we'll see what happens. And uh, wouldn't want to be one of these Egyptian servants put out in the field to work at this point, would you? Do you remember how Pharaoh said, I, who is this, who is your Lord? Who is your God? We don't, I don't know your God. Well, at this point, many of the Egyptians are coming to know him and they, they fear the word of the Lord. Some of these people are quite ahead of Pharaoh in all this, aren't they? All right, tomorrow morning, uh, get a pretty strong hard hat because let's see what happens next.